This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. In this demonstration, we will start to enter data using the data entry forms we have created in previous demonstrations. We will show how to move between items and between forms, and how to move into and out of the activity roster. When you are testing your system, it is easiest to go into the data entry section from the design screen. Once a system is fully functional, data entry staff can open the data entry system directly so they will not be able to adjust the design. Click the Run icon on the toolbar or choose File Run. Select the data file or enter a name for a new file. We will call this file baselinesurvey.dat. Note that this is one occasion where you need to specify the file name extension. Click Open and allow CS Pro to create the file. You are then asked for an operator ID. This ID will be recorded in the log file which will show who entered or edited data and when. We recommend allocating unique IDs to each of your data entry staff. You are now ready to start entering data with a blank form on the screen and the cursor flashing ready to enter the village code. We enter 01 for the village and 01 for the household. In each case we entered two digits, although the leading zero is not displayed. As we entered the digits, we automatically move to the next item and the item just entered turned green. We next enter the sex and age codes and again automatically move to the next item. We don't need to press enter. Now the household size is 3 for this household so we enter this and this time we do need to press enter to move on. The rule is that if we completely fill the space available we move on automatically, i.e. typing 1 into a single digit field. However, if we don't fill the item completely, then we need to press enter. Some people prefer to press enter for every item, and this option can be set in the design of the system. See the CS Pro help for more information on this option. As we enter the final item on a page, CS Pro will move automatically to the next page. We type 1, for the number of economically active people, press enter as we didn't fill the space allocated for this item and we automatically move to the next page. The first thing to note when coming on to page 2 is that the village code and the household number are displayed but cannot be edited here. You may remember in the previous demonstration we set up these mirror fields in order to display the information on each page. Here you can see these mirror fields in practice. We'll also notice the values of minus 888.88 in the income fields and you may remember that this value was set as the code for not applicable. In CS Pro the not applicable code is used for an item unless or until it's overwritten by a genuine value. We enter the sources of income, remembering that for a blank checkbox we enter 0, and for a tick we enter 1. When we come to the income items, the first three on the questionnaire are blank, so we need to skip them, leaving the not applicable code in place. If we press enter to move on, CS Pro gives us an out of range error message. CS Pro is expecting you to enter a value from the valid range we set up for this item or the missing value code we set. The not applicable code is something the system uses and not something we are able to enter ourselves. Press escape to cancel the error. Then click in the item for salary. Note that the previous three items turn yellow indicating that they have been skipped. It would be useful if we could automatically skip the not applicable income fields 
and in a later demonstration we will show you how to do this. We enter the salary of 450.32 and we move on automatically as we enter both digits after the decimal point. As we move on to page 3, we move into the first row of the activity roster. We enter the two rows of data. The cursor is now ready to enter a third row. As there are only two activities for this household, we press Control forward slash to tell CS Pro to move out of the roster as we have entered all the available data. If a household did have seven activities, you would automatically move out of the roster after completing the seventh row of data. We have entered all the data for this household and CS Pro asks us if we want to accept this case. We click yes to save the data. The system moves to the start of a blank form ready to enter data from the next questionnaire. And in the left hand panel, you will see that one case has been added. The one one indicates this is household one from village one. The key points to remember from this demonstration are, firstly, you only need to press enter if the data entered does not fill the space allocated to that item. Otherwise, you move on automatically. Two, use control forward slash to move out of the roster. And three, you cannot enter the not applicable code.